Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to now do five examples of using the Vivid Light blend mode. Vivid Light is a contrast blend, which means you're going to get a light getting lighter, darks getting darker, and quite a strong effect because it's using the color burn and the color dodge blend modes. So let's start off. We can do a fill layer. Layer, new fill layer. And let's make that black, so just drag down there for black. If I do a normal go down here to Vivid Light, it's still black. So I need to change the opacity a bit here. You can see that as we go down here, it becomes more visible. So we'll put it in the middle. We can always go up and down. What we can do as well then is turn these the colour up and down. And the way to do that is simply go to the grayscale there and change this grey. Notice the first thing that happens, the moment you get off black, the white starting coming back. Then gradually it goes up and it starts to go brighter and brighter. So generally speaking, the middle area is the most useful. Note, by the way, that if you've got opacity here, turned all the way up, that once you get into the you know, lighter area, which is past 50% grey, things start burning out quite quickly, which is why we need to turn down the opacity to compensate for that. Right, next one, let's take this, keep this fill layer and just change the colour to orange. So I need to go to the where am I? Good the colour here. And we'll to get orange, let's click in the orange area here. But to get a full orange you need blue all the way down, green kind of in the middle, and blue red at the top. You can see there immediately effect. And you can use the opacity to go from a fairly subtle tint to a stronger one, which of course you can mask to areas of the picture as you like. Let's go now to delete that and put in a pixel layer. I'm going to do a gradient and we can start off, go to the gradient tool and drag from one end to the other. I'm getting a white to black here. If you need to change it, you can always click on the end there and select the colour here. Or you can go up here and change the gradient there. So with the white to black, and we change the blend mode here to vivid light, you can see the sky is getting very much lightened. It's a strong contrast effect. And the, this is going all the way to black. So we need to turn this right down. So I turn down the opacity of this. You get to a point where it starts getting useful. It gets not useful after a bit, so it's fairly low-ish opacity. And what you can do with this is also go to that horizontal blue bar in the middle and you can move that sort of middle point where the effect is happening. You can also go up here to the reverse gradient. And if I reverse that, now I'm lightening the ground and darkening the sky. And going back there, I'm lightening the sky and darkening the ground. So you can have a strong effect by, remember, using the opacity here. And you could even change the colours up here. So let's actually change, try that. Turn the opacity all the way up. And up here, a good sky colour is teal. So we'll go to the grayscale here, change that to RGB. And teal has got blue all the way up, red all the way down, and green kind of halfway. So that's set that at that end. The other end here, make the opposite of teal, which is orange. So we can just start off by clicking roughly here to for orange, and then blue at the bottom, red at the top, and green in the middle. So this is a fairly strong effect. So we're just going to turn down the opacity here to suit. We can also, with gradients, find that little horizontal blue bar in the middle and change the point at which the effect takes place. 
where we're switching over from orange to teal. Then, last of all, let's do a vignette. So I'm just going to delete that. And vignette, we will do this. There's lots of ways of doing this. And go to the rectangle tool. And with the snapping set here, it'll snap onto that corner. I'm going to drag all the way down to that corner there. And I'm going to make that colour here. I'm going to start with a mid grey. So I go down to grayscale and just turn this to 50%. You can go over here and roll your mouse wheel if you like to get exactly one step at a time and change that to vivid light, which initially is going to be transparent. So we'll make it a, a darker version of this. So go into the grey upper here and make this darker. And notice here what you're doing is the outside here is intensifying the colour. So we want to just bring back the colour in the middle. So I'm going to hit a mask here. So it comes under here and then to get the layer underneath here I want to stop this effect. So I'm going to paint on here with black. So I go to my paintbrush tool Make sure I've got black selected here, opacity 100%. I've got a very soft, low hardness here, and I can paint here, and this just paints away that effect. So now we've got here is a vignette which is intensifying colour. It's a colour vignette, as opposed to if you use something like a multiply blend, where it would just be kind of making it darker. But of course, as ever, we're going to change the opacity here just to suit. So we're just pulling darker colours around the outside and the middle is natural. Anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching.